Regeneration is a vital component of our recovery. It's what we're trying to achieve with our Reloid campaign across the whole service that we deliver as a city council and authority for the residents to enjoy uh, our city and living in our city but working and travelling to and from our city. This is something that's going to be iconic for the city and iconic for everybody within our city. It really is to get us on the right tracks moving forward. 1970s concrete slabs might not be everybody's cup of tea, neither is it mine, but some people will feel sad at this. It's served so many people. If you think of all the journeys that have started for our citizens from this station, then they can have fond memories. And that's what, to me, the key of regeneration is to build fond memories to people come back to this city. What's exciting is everything's connected in this transport hub. Doing the train station, I started so many other regeneration projects, I-9 across the road, Brewer's Yard that hopefully we're going to get started with very, very quickly. So it's an exciting period in Wolverhampton's history. It's a major step forward with improving uh, interchange with both the tram and the bus. The fantastic bus station is just across the bridge here. We've got the tram which will come through uh, where I'm stood here now, making this a world-class interchange that will rival anywhere across the world for transport in integration. This really is going to be a showpiece here in Wolverhampton. Regeneration schemes like this are, I think, vital to uh, the recovery from COVID-19 for two reasons, really. One, uh, and most obviously, um, for the construction market. That brings jobs, investment in cities, but also so the businesses of Wolverhampton, having a fantastic new station will make it much more appealing and attractive to visit Wolverhampton, uh, to come and spend money and to get the economy going again.